Hey and welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you how easy it is to customize Windows desktop. So without any further ado, if you are interested in my current desktop wallpaper, then please check out the first link in the video description below. And with that said, let's get started. Now, the first thing which you want to do is to open your Microsoft Store and you will search on top of the input field for the translucent TB program. Now, this program is quite simple. It will custom the look of your Windows taskbar and make sure that you click here on get and then once you have it installed you will see here a button called open and you will click on it and the translucent TB program should open and now we have here the first page of the translucent TB here I will click on continue and then on the bottom you will see the system tray icons and for example if you don't see the system tray icons you will simply navigate to the start menu then you will go Go to the settings to the personalization tab here on the left and then you will go here to the colors now here you will change your windows mode from light to the dark and then you should be able to see your system tray icons now here down below if you click on this arrow in the bottom right corner you will see translucent tb icon then you will double left click on it and you should see this menu and then on top make sure that you have set this first option under the desktop to the clear option but if you want, you can also go back to normal, opaque or a clear version as well. I must say that I prefer the clear version right here. And then at the bottom, you will make sure that you have this option turned on as well. So open at boot. So whenever you restart or turn on your computer, the taskbar will always have this really nice transparent look to it. Now let's move on to our wallpaper. To change the wallpaper, you will go to this video description or you can just search it for yourself and we are going to search for the Raycast wallpaper. And then on the first page, which is called raycast.com, you will see this beautiful blob red wallpaper with this resolution. And here on this page, you will click on download. Now, some of the Windows PCs won't open this file, which ends with .heic. To fix it, you will open another tab and search for heic to PNG converter and you will open this page. Don't worry, I will also put this link in the video description down below. So make sure that you pause the video and go to this link. And then here you will select the file. So in this case, this blob red file, click on open here. Then you will make sure that you have set here PNG and click on convert. And once you have the blob red wallpaper in PNG format, you will open it in the file explorer. It should be in your download folder and once you have it here you can click here set as desktop background and it should look something like this now let's move on to the widgets which are quite simple because you will first need to install rain meter so on google search for the rain meter and on this page you will click on this blue download button and you will get the .exe file of the rain meter and you will click on it click on ok here click on next here, click on install right here and click on yes and then click on the finish button. So once you have Raymeter up and running, you can see this by going to the system tray here in the arrow and you will see the, the Raymeter icon here. So now we will need to install a few of the widgets for the Raymeter itself. So let's open a new tab here and search for the Mont Raymeter skin and go to this page, visualskins.com and make sure to scroll down and click on this blue download button to get this skin file. And then you can go up once again and go to this search input field and search for MII power. Click on enter and then you will repeat the process, scroll down on the page and click on the blue download button. And then right now we will download the last widget which we are going to use and it's called the Monterey Rain Meter. So make sure that you search for that on Google as well. And then here you will go to the github.com page and on this page you will scroll down until you see this releases page here and click on it and then you will click on Monterey version 1.0.2 and click on this .rm skin file. Once you have all of these three files, you can click on the folder icon right here 
And right now we are going to install first widget, which is called MII Power. So let's double left click on it and click on the install right here. And now to put it on your desktop, you will first open the Rainmeter program from your system tray like so. And then you will go here to the MII Power folder and you will go here to the power folder. And here we have two versions. B stands for the black version and W stands for the white version. And here I will double left click on the W version like so. And you should see the skin appear on your desktop on the top left corner. And I will put it somewhere here down, down below like so. Now we will go back to the downloads folder and let's open the or install the mod skin for the rain meter. So double left click on it and then you will click on the install. And right now you should see that the mod has a ton of the pre-installed skins already so we don't want all of them on our desktop so what i will do i will right click on them and click on unload skin and you will just repeat the process for the other skins which you don't want on your desktop and then you have here also the text color so if you want to change the text color of this exact widget you will click on here and pick whichever color you prefer but i like the white color here so now i will click on close settings and i will edit this exact skin so i will right click here and click on edit the skin and this should open the notepad now once here you will scroll down and make sure that you delete every single option here and make sure that you leave option called meter day here and this should be enough for our skin to be quite minimal so make sure that you delete all this code and you are left with meter day and then you have other settings here as well. So for example, the scale, you can change this as well. I will put here 1.35 like so. And then on top, you will click on file and click on save like so. And then you can close the notepad, right click on the skin and then click on refresh skin. And then you can see how it actually changed. And now we can put it somewhere here, here on the middle of our screen like so. And now we can continue with the last skin, which is called Monterey. Now let's open the Monterey skin with double left click and click on the install. And now we can put on the clock as well as the notes, reminders, and also we can put the monitoring as well. And let's add one more, which is the calendar. Now here under the appearance tab, we will select the blur version of this exact widgets and we can then close this window here. And meanwhile, you can also see that the MII power widget actually disappeared. So we will need to enable it once again. So let's open the rain meter from the system tray and let's click on the W version of the skin and let's put it somewhere here at the bottom. And now what I will do, I will place all of these widgets somewhere here on the right of the screen like so the reminders as well as well as the notes somewhere here and now for the clock i will put it next to the mii power and for the clock i will also right click on it and click on the white option here so this is pretty much it how our desktop right now looks like i hope you guys followed until the end of the video if you did make sure to click on the like button as well as you can subscribe to this channel as well every single file used in this tutorial will be linked in the video description below thank you again for watching and have an amazing rest of your day if you are interested in more customization videos please check out this video thank you again for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace